Hey everybody, John Martinez here. I am shivering in my backyard sitting next to the fire pit. I'm trying to get acclimated uh, to this cold weather because I'm about to hit my gym and it is freezing in there. Um, and I've decided not to put a heater in because it's probably good for me to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. Anyways, um, I want to talk today, uh, and this is Thursday, December 8th, 9th, 10th. I don't know what the day is, uh, but I wanted to talk about sales being a number numbers game. There's so much stuff I hear online and everywhere that's just completely false. You know, I, I think it does more harm than good. And I think one of those things that does more harm than good is the saying sales is just a numbers game. Um, Sales is just a numbers game if your plan is to fall ass backwards into sales. If you have no control over conversions, um, if you don't actually know how to sell, then yeah, it's a numbers game. Because you don't know how to increase conversions any other way other than talking to more people. Now, it does work. You can get more sales by you know, just talking to more people. Um, but that's not really selling, is it? That's just hoping. That's just praying. That's not actually selling. That's just splattering the world with an offer and hoping that someone buys from you. The truth of the matter is, there's only two ways to increase sales. And one is, you know, yeah, just, just talk to more and more and more people. But that's really not a great strategy. That isn't uh, a sales strategy. That's more of a, a marketing strategy. The only true way to increase sales is by increasing conversion rates. And that's the most efficient way to do it, right? Because think about it. If you increase your conversion rate, you don't need another single lead. You don't need to talk to any more people. Um, you're just doing more with what you already have. So that's, that's the difference. Conversion rate versus um, just talking to more people. Uh, it's either falling ass backwards accidentally into sales uh, or making them happen. Now, some people do believe that it's just a numbers game. And, um, you know, if, if that's what you need to believe uh, to make yourself feel better about having a, a terrible close rate, then I guess that's okay. Um, but, and, and you do need enough people to talk to, but it, it's, it's not sales, right? I can go and just start knocking on doors and saying, hey, I got, I got, uh, whatever it is, right? Uh, I remember that, that Grant Cardone podcast when um, the Wolf of Wall Street was asking him, you know, hey, what's your sales process? And he'd just go, well, let me tell you this story about when I was selling fish. And, he, and, and um, Jordan Belfort said, well, well what, what you do? He goes, I'd go up to doors and I'd say, I got fish. Do you want some? And then uh, Belfort said, yeah, but how do you actually you know, increase your conversion rates. He goes, I just talked to more people. And Belfort's like, yeah, but, but selling, right? Say you only have so many people to talk to and you want to sell as many as possible. How do you sell more fish? And Grant said, well, I just talked to more people. That's the difference between uh, sales and just uh, playing the numbers game. Belfort knew that conversion is key. Grant is an expert marketer. So that was, that was his perspective. His solution to sales wasn't, well, you know, I'm gonna take him through a sales process. Here's my questioning strategy. Here's how I'm gonna convert everyone that's convertible. He would just knock on a door and say, hey, I got fish. And when they said, I don't need any fish, go to the next door. Now that's marketing, that isn't sales. That's filling the top of the funnel. That's the numbers game. Belfort understands who is a, a in my opinion, a much, much better sales trainer because he actually has a process. He actually has a system. Um, it, it's not just about talking to more people. There's only so many prospects in this world. There's only so many people who might have a need for your product. And if you want to be an expert salesperson, you've got to find a way to increase your conversion rates. I happen to think that, that Grant Cardone is a terrible salesperson and I'm not bad mouthing him because, um, you know, or hating on him or, or anything like that. I think the guy is a brilliant motivator. I think he's probably one of the, the best marketers out there of today, but he's a terrible salesperson. He doesn't know how to sell. Um, and the few things he does teach actually decrease conversion rates, um, the pushy kind of sales tactics and, and things like that. So that's, that's, that's a numbers game. And if you want to play the numbers game, then do it. But don't call yourself a salesperson because um, you're not. You know, my seven-year-old can just, you know, try to sell a software package. And, and he could go from business to business and go, hey, you want to buy some software? 
and um, somebody might actually buy, but that doesn't make him a salesperson. Salespeople convert. Salespeople know how to turn prospects into clients. Marketers know how to turn strangers into prospects, and that's really the difference. Um, sales is not a numbers game. If you don't know how to sell, um, it, it's an excuse, right? Well, I just haven't talked to enough people. That's how you learn to sell as you talk to enough people, but it is not sales. It is not a numbers game. Sales is a game of conversion, of systematically converting prospects into clients, something that's repeatable, something that can be taught, something that can be adopted by others, something that can be tweaked. It's a process. So that, in my opinion, is the difference between sales and marketing. Sales is not a numbers game, never has been. Um, that's it. That's my message for today. See you guys.